Thank you. 
Thank you.
Ceremony. Professional photographer will be taking commemorative photos of each of the graduates as they receive a diploma cover from Dr. Porch. However, this is your day. Feel free to come forward and take your own photos or videos. But please be considerate of other guests and try not to block anyone's line of sight. Please return to your seat when you are finished. In keeping with the dignity of the occasion, we ask that you do not apply for each graduate. We will wait until all have crossed the stage. Because of the sensitive acoustics of the auditorium and the fact that the ceremony is being televised, it's important that there be no unnecessary noise. In order to help in this effort, we have a TV projection area where the entire program can be seen on large screen. This area is available for children. If you need assistance, please see one of the ushers. Today's ceremony is being rebroadcast and is currently being broadcast on the college's YouTube channel. It will be available for future viewing on that media. Another obligation to plan to the emergency exits of this facility. They are located left and right at the front of the auditorium, left and right at the center of the auditorium, and left and right at the rear of the auditorium. <laughs> During the recession, you are requested to remain standing at your seats until all graduates, faculty, and staff have completely exited the auditorium. Please take a moment and silence all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. Thank you and enjoy your evening.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please move to the center of your section. We have a few more folks who would like to get in and get seated before we start today's ceremony. Thank you.
Please remain standing to honor our graduates. Thank you.
You may be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of the college's board of trustees and Dr. Mark Ford, I am pleased to welcome you to Caldwell Community College and Denver Institute, J. E. Broyhill Civic Center. Today, we gather for the highlight of the year as we celebrate the accomplishments of our 2022 graduates, as well as Caldwell Community College and Jacob Institute's continued success serving our students and community. During the past academic year, we celebrated the launch of NC Reconnect, a statewide initiative that will help adults earn degrees and credentials beyond high school. A partnership with Google and Caldwell County Schools that provides technology, making it easier for high school students to complete college credits at CCC and TI. A trip to the national championship tournament for our basketball team and successful seasons by our baseball and softball teams. We also added women's volleyball as a new sport beginning this fall. I hope that's not my voice doing that. <laughs> Several campus improvement projects, including the opening of the Paul H. Broad Hill Center for Advanced Technologies, the Electrical Line Worker Training Center, and new classrooms for our welding and biopharmaceutical technology programs. And many more achievements thanks to the hard work of our students, faculty, staff, and community. Will all faculty and staff please stand? Please join me in thanking them for all that they do. Thank you. If there are any members of the following group here also, I'd like for you to stand as I call out your 
classifications. Any special guests live from the Board of Trustees, the Foundation Board, public school representatives, and Caldwell and County Commissioners from either Caldwell or Watauga counties. Let us show our appreciation for their support of the college and the community. And now, the reason we're all here, regardless of the path that brought you to this stage, you have completed a tremendous task and we're proud of. I'd like to share some facts about this year's class before they walk across the stage. Out of 1,016 students we're honoring today, 461 of them are first generation college graduates. Our youngest graduate is 15. And the most senior is 65. The average age of this year's graduating class is 25. A total of 149 graduates have earned multiple credentials. The class of 2022 also includes 14 Dream Scholars, 24 TRIO SSS graduates, and 24 CCC and TI student athletes. And I'm proud to say we are honoring 58 individuals who are earning their high school credentials. Again, congratulations to each of you, and thanks to all of you who have joined us today as we pay tribute to the graduating class of 2022. Good evening. Each year at the May graduation ceremonies, the Board of Trustees is proud to present the Trustees Student Award of Merit. I am proud to represent my fellow trustees to present this award. Deserving students are nominated by faculty and selected by board members for this prestigious honor. Not only are they given a plaque commemorating the special award, but they also receive a monetary award of $150. Today's recipient is Melody Reeves, who is graduating today with an Associate in Applied Science in Medical Office Administration. Melody earned a 3.842 grade point average and is well known on the Caldwell campus. She is a member of the TRIO Leadership League, is president of the CCC and TII Ambassadors, helps with Student Government Association activities, tutors her fellow TRIO students, serves as an usher at the Civic Center events, and assists on campus with grab and go activities, blood drives, and student appreciation days. As one instructor said in their nomination, Melody is the heart and soul of all we do here at CCC and TI. She is an incredible example for our adult learners. It is my honor to present the Trustees Student Award of Merit to Ms. Melody Reeves. Good afternoon. Y'all wait. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Students, we have a special treat uh, for you this afternoon. We're thrilled to welcome back 
one of our own as your commencement speaker. Emily Thomas grew up in Lenore and started her college journey as a student at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. After graduating with an associate in arts degree from CCCNTI in 2006, Emily went on to receive a bachelor's degree in organizational and public communication from Appalachian State University and a master's degree in communication from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Emily has over 10 years of higher education experience, which started, I might add, as a transition advisor at CCCNTI. Much of her career has been spent in enrollment, advising, and teaching within the communication discipline at two-year and four-year public and private institutions. Emily has also worked as an enrollment strategist helping colleges and universities meet their institution's enrollment goals. She is currently a policy analyst for Education NC. She travels across the state for NC, engaging with education leaders and students at post-secondary institutions. Her work includes research and reporting on the major trends, issues, and challenges bearing on higher education today. In short, she helps tell the community college story across North Carolina. Emily, thank you for carrying the torch and for telling our story. And in addition to her role with NC, she also teaches public speaking at CCCNTI. Please join me in welcoming back Ms. Emily Thomas. graduation ceremony because this institution changed the trajectory of my life. I'm glad to be in the county that will forever be home in my heart. Now before I begin, I want to take a moment to say congratulations to you. We are all here today to celebrate your amazing accomplishments. And I do not say amazing lightly. Across the state, less than half of North Carolinians between the ages of 25 and 44 complete any higher education. So why am I telling you this? Because what you have accomplished is a big deal. I want you to remember that, and I want you to be proud of yourself. I'm sure that you gathered from my initial comments and also Dr. Porch's that I am a Caldwell County girl, born and raised. I am the product of parents and grandparents who worked hard and spent much of their time earning a living in the furniture factories in this region. It was their hard work and dedication that helped me become who I am today. When I said that Caldwell County will forever be home in my heart, I meant it. You know, there is something about small towns and rural regions that creates in its people a sense of pride. While they may not have all the amenities of a large urban area, rural regions are made up of residents with deep roots, strong ties, who care deeply about the place they call home. And the people here are resilient. You know, when the main industry in this area started to decline about 20 years ago, most of the people here stayed. Some went back to school, while others looked for different opportunities. But that very well may be just the strongest assets of rural regions, a well-rooted and committed community. 
Caldwell Community College is one of 40 of the state's 58 community colleges that serve at least one rural county. And while the area that Caldwell serves is small in comparison to larger institutions, the impact the college has is just as great. A recent study looked at each of the 58 community colleges in North Carolina to measure the economic impact. The entire system has a 19 billion annual economic impact across the state. From 2019 to 2020, Caldwell Community College added almost 169 million in income to the region, which supported close to 3,000 jobs. As CCC and TI graduates, you guys, you will go on to earn higher wages, increasing your lifetime earning potential. I'll say it again. This institution changes lives, and I know that because it changed mine. 16 years ago, I was sitting where you are or they are, a graduate. In May of 2006, I put on a black robe and shoes that I definitely had never worn before, and I tried my best to get that cap to stay on my head. But I almost wasn't in one of those seats. You see, growing up, I didn't know anyone in my family who had graduated from college. For most of them, life happened, and furthering their education seemed out of reach. When I graduated from high school, I felt lost. My gut told me that college was a good next step, but you know, I didn't know the first thing about applying for college or filling out financial aid information. And because I had a bit of a non-traditional high school experience, there was no counselor to offer advice. And even though I'd taken a couple of classes at Caldwell as a duly enrolled high school student, going to college full-time seemed much scarier. But with a lot of fear and hesitation, I applied to be a full-time college student. But I hadn't even submitted my application and I was already doubting my decision. I also had to fight the notion that because I was choosing to attend a community college, that my educational journey was not as significant as that of my peers who were attending a four-year college. Before I could begin classes, I needed to take a placement test. And let me tell you, I panicked. I knew I'd probably be okay with the English and reading section, but math was a totally different story. And I went to take the placement test, I sat frozen in front of that computer screen because I thought, I don't know the math answers to any of them. And the results confirmed that. I'd have to take several additional math classes before I could actually take the one I needed for my degree. And you know, that's when I almost quit something that I hadn't even started. I told myself I wasn't good enough for college, my math skills were lacking, my educational journey was not going to look anything like my peers, so why even bother? But for reasons I'll never understand, I did show up that first day of class. And that was hurdle one, showing up. Hurdle two was finishing my degree. But every semester for the first year, I found myself filling out a withdrawal form. I was ready to walk away from college. And then something would happen. It was almost always an instructor who, at the right moment, gave me the nudge I needed to continue. I don't think they knew that I considered quitting. But because they were invested in me as a person, because they knew me, it made all the difference. After two years, I completed my associate degree. And in May, two, in May 2006, I was in this very building, in one of those seats. But it wasn't until I sat down that I truly realized what I had accomplished. And for the first time, I was proud of myself. <clears throat> Graduates, I want you to take a moment and reflect on your accomplishments. Congratulate yourself because you're the first in your family to earn a credential. Congratulate yourself because you overcame ad adversities that at one point you thought made going to college impossible. Congratulate yourself because you are completing an education that you started years ago. Or, 
If you're like me, maybe you almost weren't in the very seat you were sitting in now, but you made it. Regardless of the reason for telling yourself congratulations, you should be proud. You showed up, you put in the effort, and now you're here. Now, before I go back here and take this seat, allow me to leave you with three pieces of advice. And it's advice that I hope that you will take with you as you embark on your next journey, whatever it is. Number one, speak up. Throughout life, you will find yourself in situations with people who have had different experiences. There may be times when you feel as if your background and your experiences are not good enough or that you don't measure up because your life's path looks different than those around you. But you know what I've come to realize is that there is value in everyone's journey, regardless of the various roads that have been taken. Your experiences, your story, and your voice matter. Speak up. Number two, start and end your day with gratitude. You know, earlier this year, a North Carolina community college president passed away from cancer. I had the privilege of writing an article about his life and legacy. While researching about him, I found several articles that he had published during his time as president. In one of them, he referenced Joni Mitchell's song, Big Yellow Taxi. And no, I'm not going to sing it. He used the lyrics, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. The president said those lyrics were a reminder that we really don't understand the value of what we have until we don't have it anymore. He died soon after that piece was published. Author Anne Lamont says this, that gratitude is the key to joy. Gratitude or thankfulness is the realization of how much goodness is marbled into our strange and sometimes hard and sometimes annoying life. You know, the great thing about this habit of gratitude that I'm talking about is that you can start it any time, even now. Make note of those in this room with you who have helped and supported you during your educational journey. Your family, your friends, the faculty here, the staff here. And if you're so inclined, you should tell them thank you. Because I know I have a lot of that to do today. And the last one, number three, offer help. Quite often we get so focused on our next steps that we forget to look around. Figuratively, that is. And when you don't look, you miss things like the beauty of the Blue Ridge Mountains or the North Carolina coastline. But you also miss the people. And when you don't see the people, you don't see the opportunities to help. After all, that is what life is mostly about, helping others. So graduates, who are the people around you that you can encourage to take that next step in their educational journey? Who can you help navigate this process or offer advice when they just need someone to say, you've got this. Now I know this speech is intended for those graduating today, but I do have something to those in this room or online who have thought about furthering or completing their education. And to you I say this, don't let fear hold you back. You belong here too. You belong in a seat for graduates. If you haven't finished your high school diploma or you need to learn a new skill or you want another degree, you can do all of that at this institution. The great thing about North Carolina Community Colleges is that they are designed for students to enter college regardless of their educational background. The colleges meet people where they are and provide them with an education that will transform their lives and the lives of their families just as our graduates have been transformed. So I'll close with this. Back to you, graduates. I want you to remember, sorry, I want you to remember that what you have accomplished is a big deal. Be proud. I also want you to remember to speak up because your voice and your story, it matters. And remember to live with gratitude 
even when life is hard and even when life is annoying. And don't forget to look around because you can find the people that you can help. So, graduates, congratulations. I really am so thankful that I get to share this day with you. And I'm so glad that you were in those seats. Thank you. Will the candidates for graduation please rise and step forward to be recognized. Elizabeth Carter. Julie Rose Childers with honors. Ashlyn Marie Pritchard. Jenna Nicole Davis. Riley Elizabeth Elder with honors. Amari Elijah Kirby. Rachel Marie Fox. Christian Anthony Garcia. Larissa Deanne Garnes. Tiffany Amber Gosnell with honors. <laughs> Ellie Diane Grill with honors. <laughs> Heather Lane Hamby. Matthew Scott Hampton. Brooklyn Ann Coleman with our
Emily Kate Hassan. Colby Lee Hutchins. Brady Ernest Isaacs. Crystal Brooke King with honors, Associate in Science, Associate in General Education. Sarah Greer Kagan. Sally Ann Lowe with honors. Agatha Catherine Lowe with honors. Lee Riley McDaniel. Taylor Nicole Moody, Associate in General Education. Angela Foster Moore, with honors. Associate in General Education, with honors. Jessica Carol Moore. Cassidy Nicole Murphy with honors. Jordan Tyler Murphy with honors. Kennedy Lowrow Nichols with honors. Jennifer Lorena Ortiz. Isaiah Pruitt. Ashlyn Elizabeth Roney with honors. Courtney Dawn Robbins, Associate in General Education. Allie Elizabeth Smith. Jordan Levin Stinson, Associate in General Education. Brianna Dawn Lee Swanson, with honors, Associate in Science, with honors, Associate in General Education, with honors. Megan Danielle Sweet, Associate in General Education. Amy Yvonne Sweet, with honors. Jacqueline Marie Wilson. I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Arts and Teacher Preparation, Ashlyn Suzanne Castle, with honors. Yeah. 
Annette Jackson Stutzman, with honors. Associate in Arts, with honors. Associate in General Education, with honors. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Fine Arts and Music, Zoe Jennifer Bailey, with honors. Nick Barnhill. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Science, Brenda Sophia Bermudez, Associate in General Education. Sarah Elena Ruth Bledsoe, with honors. Associate in General Education, with honors. Diploma in Cosmetology, with honors. Fabiola Alejandra Lucida Hernandez. Riley Elizabeth Haas, Associate in Science, with honors. Gabriella Dove Harmeyer, Associate in Science. Raylan Norwood, Associate in Science. Eric Sutherland Palmer, Associate of Science, with honors. Luke Andrew Privet, Associate in Science. Brittany Nicole Reynolds, Associate in Science. Eden Inez Stroop, Associate in Science. <laughs> Elsa Panatuna Sturgis, Associate in Science with Honors. Benjamin Robert Tomberlin, Associate in Science, with honors. <laughs> Sherry Zane Yang, Associate in Science, with honors. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in General Education. Wendy West Green, Associate in General Education, with honors. Jenny Pauline Moore, Associate in General Education with Honors Certificate in Chemical Engineering Technology Drafting with Honors. Tabitha Sierra O'Brien Childers, Associate in General Education. I present to you candidates for graduation, Adult High School Diploma, Sydney Cheyenne Urban, Adult High School Diploma, Caldwell County. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, High School Equivalency Diploma, Eric Jeremiah Augustine, <laughs> High School Equivalency Diploma. Antonia Danielle Corpity. Amber Grace Curtis, High School of Public C Diploma.
Lucinda Kimbrell Dillingham, High School Equivalent C Diploma. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Freeman, High School Equivalent C Diploma. Alejandra Michelle Moreno, High School Equivalency Diploma. Dequatra <laughs> Sheree Prundy, High School Equivalency Diploma. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science. Abby Danielle Carden, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Mark Lee Hawkins, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Amanda Marie Mayfield, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance with Honors, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration with Honors. Bryce Avery Mitchum, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Ivy Rose Posadas, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Kiana Mercedes Reinhardt, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Charles Clayton Matthews Fry, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting and Finance, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration. Taylor Brooke Asabi. Chelsea Lynn Trussler, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, with honors. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Biomedical Equipment Technology. Michael Gary Blackwell, Associate of Applied Science, Biomedical Equipment Technology, with honors. Associate in General Education, with honors. Catherine Heather Clark, Biopharmaceutical Technology Outstanding Student Award, Associate of Applied Science, Biopharmaceutical Technology. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Diploma Cosmetology, Sabrina Justice Clay Levins. Diploma Cosmetology with honors. Alexis Roche Heiner, Diploma Cosmetology with Honors. <laughs> Haley Grace Fairchild, Certificate Cosmetology with Honors. <laughs> Sabrina Leva Perez, Certificate Cosmetology with Honors. Leslie Michelle Rojo Salas, Certificate of Cosmetology with Honors. <laughs> Megan Jean Smith, Certificate of Cosmetology with Honors. <laughs> Logan Justina Michelle Trivet, Certificate of Cosmetology with Honors.
Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation from Associate Applied Science, Culinary Arts, Alexandra Buff Dean. With honors. Sarah Naomi Rodriguez. <laughs> Marian Laura, Culinary Arts Outstanding Student Award, Associate in Applied Science, Pro Culinary Arts with Honors. <laughs> Timothy Dwayne Michaels, Associate in Applied Science, Culinary Arts with Honors. <laughs> Micah Dante Tabor. Science, Culinary Arts. Matthew Paul Bolin, Diploma, Culinary Arts, Mobile Catering and Food Truck Management with honors. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Harley Page Jester, Associate of Applied Science, Licensure Transfer Track, Diploma, Early Childhood Education, Certificate, Early Childhood Education, Teacher Caregiver. Jessica Nicole Moore, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Licensure Transfer Track, with honors. April Lynn Miller, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education, Non-Licensure Transfer, Diploma, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Applied Science, Electrical Systems Technology. Dylan Michael Settlemeyer, Associate in Applied Science, Electrical Systems Technology. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Engineering Technology. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Emergency Management. Jonathan Alexander Hodges, Associate of Applied Science, Emergency Management. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidate for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Information Technology. Joshua David McGee, Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology, Computer Programming and Development with Honors. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidate for graduation, Associate in Applied Science, Information Technology Network and Cyber Security, Myron Todd Raby. Certificate of Information Technology, Cyber Security and Networking. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidate for graduation, Associate in Applied Science, Mechanical Engineering and Technology, Carter Wesley Dean, Associate in Applied Science with Honors. <laughs> Noah Bradley Walls, Associate in Applied Science, Mechanical Engineering and Technology with Honors. Justin Ray Wisdom, Associate of Applied Science, Mechanical Engineering Technology, with honors. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. Samantha Denise Clark, Associate of Applied Science, Diploma, Medical Office Administration. <laughs> Elaine Wallace Carmen. With honors, Diploma Medical Office Administration, with honors. <laughs> Haley Bentley, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. <laughs> Maria Guadalupe Lopez Mejia. Dream Scholar, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Office Administration. <laughs> Melody 
and Jean Reeves, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Office Administration, with honors. <laughs> Jessica Triplett Messer, Certificate, Medical Office Administration. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Office Administration. Stephanie Ann Gragg, Diploma, Office Administration, Certificate, Office Administration, Word Processing Clerk. Yeah, Dr. Porch, I present to you candidate for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal Technology. Caitlin Leanne May, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal Technology. Erica Shanae McCurdy, Associate of Applied Science, Certificate, Paralegal Technology, Associate in General Education. Nicole Oslin, with honors, Certificate, Paralegal Technology, Family Law, Certificate, Paralegal Technology, Wills and Estates. Maria Fernanda Rivera Tellez, with Woo! honors, Associate of General Education, with honors. Ralph Lawrence Black, Associate in Arts. Woo! Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Applied Science, Welding Technology. Ethan Christopher Green, with honors. Diploma Welding Technology with honors. <laughs> Ryan David Hawkins, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology. <laughs> Michael Moretz, Welding Technology with honors. Jared Zachary Wares, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology, with honors. John Walton Weathers, the fourth, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidate for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Culinary Arts, Jacob Isaac Patton. With honors, Associate Arts, with honors. Kevin Scott Miller, Associate in Arts, with honors. Caitlin Nicole Reinhardt, High School Equivalency Diploma, Phlebotomy Certificate. Jeremy Frederick Twig, High School Equivalency Diploma. <laughs> James Stanley Rickard, Diploma Electrical Systems Technologies with honors. <laughs> Nina Lene Wilborn, Associate of Science, Planning and Finance with honors. Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, with honors. Dr. Porch, that concludes the presentation of graduates, Class of 2022.
tell you what, today's life changing for many of the folks on the stage. And what you can't see out there are the tears that's run down cheeks. And uh, one graduate says she didn't want to leave the college. I told her she was welcome to come back to the hall. We were certainly welcome her back. And what a great day. Students, it's my honor and privilege to share in this special uh, moment with you today. I just want to say thank you for allowing us to serve you at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. It has been our pleasure to be your college of choice. And I want to say congratulations to the class of 2022. has led you here tonight and to the success that each of you uh, has had. So we're very, very proud of you. I also want to congratulate the families and friends of our graduates. They shared in this moment with you as well. And to the faculty and staff at CCC and TI who imparted knowledge and provided support along your educational journey. Today is a proud day for them as well. And I know these students share my appreciation for all of you who have supported and encouraged them along the way. Students, will you join me in thanking those in the audience who helped make today happen? <laughs> Graduates, today marks the completion of your educational journey at CCC and TI, at least for some of you, others of you are coming back, and we look forward to that. And you're moving on to the next phase in your lives. And as you leave CCC and TI, my job is, issue, is to issue a charge to the graduates. And as I thought about what to say to you, the one thing that kept popping in my mind is that you are here on this stage in spite of a global pandemic. That, yeah. pandemic that changed everything about our world, including education, for over two years now. That truly is a remarkable accomplishment. Education has certainly not been immune from the impacts of COVID. In fact, COVID turned education on its head and presented unprecedented challenges for all of us. And there was no playbook. We were literally building the plane as we were flying. And as these students are all too aware, we had to move many of our courses and services to an online format during the pandemic, resulting in many challenges, including some students having to take classes in a format they were unaware of at the time of registration. And you not only dealt with changes in how you participated in classes, you dealt with numerous safety protocols, including health screening stations and temperature checks and wearing masks and social distancing and quarantine. And through all of these changes and challenges, you remain flexible and you adapted. For this, we say thank you. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we all dealt with the challenges of COVID. You have overcome all the hardships and difficulties and you are finally on the graduation stage. Your courage, your resiliency, your work ethic and perseverance have led you to this moment in time. You have done an amazing job in the face of adversity. And you have made it through what was arguably the hardest two years any of us have ever faced. And students, if you can persevere through a pandemic and perform at this high level, you can succeed in whatever lies ahead. So as you move on, go with confidence and let this situation and your success set the stage for life's next step. As you depart CCC and TI, my hope is that you leave with a great sense of pride in this amazing institution, an institution that has a strong 58 year history of excellence in providing quality educational programs focused on student success. And as alumni, you will forever be part of the Cobra family. So as you leave this place, go with the same sense of fearlessness, inspiration and boldness that got you through the pandemic and to this graduation stage. As Martin Luther King Jr. stated, the ultimate measure of a man 
is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. By making it to this stage today, we all know where you stand. Now go make us pray. Best of luck to all of you. assembled here have faithfully fulfilled the requirements of their respective educational programs as specified by the State Board of Community Colleges. So therefore, by the authority vested in me by the State of North Carolina and the College's Board of Trustees, I hereby convey to you all the rights, privileges, and honors associated with being graduates Caldwell Community College and Technical Institutes. Students, will you turn your tassels and ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a standing salute to the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Before the ceremony begins, we have several important announcements about today's event. A professional photographer will be taking a commemorative photo of each of our graduates as they receive a diploma cover from Dr. Porch. However, this is your day, so feel free to come forward and take your own photos or videos. But please be considered of other guests and try not to block anyone's line of sight. In keeping with the dignity of the occasion, we ask that you do not applaud for each graduate, but wait until all have crossed the stage. Because of the sensitive acoustics of the auditorium and the fact that the ceremony is being televised, it's important that there be no unnecessary noise. In order to help in this effort, we have a TV projection area where the entire program can be viewed. This area is available for children. Please see the ushers if you need assistance. Today's ceremony is being broadcast on YouTube and will be rebroadcast on that media for future use. Please take a moment to locate the nearest emergency exit next to you. They are left and right at the front of the auditorium, left and right in the center, and left and right in the rear of the auditorium. During the recessional, you are requested to remain standing at your seats until all graduates, faculty, and staff have completely exited the auditorium. Please take a moment and silence all electronic devices at this time. Thank you and enjoy the ceremony.
Good afternoon and evening. On behalf of the college's board of trustees and Dr. Mark Porch, I am pleased to welcome you to the Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute's J.E. Broyhill Center. Today, we gather for the highlight of the year, 
as we celebrate the accomplishments of our 2022 graduates, as well as CCC and GI's continued success serving our students and community. During the past academic year, we celebrated the launch of NC Reconnect, a statewide initiative that will help adults earn degrees and credentials beyond high school, a partnership with Google and Caldwell County Schools that provides technology making it easier for high school students to complete college credits at CCC and TI, a trip to the national championship tournament for our basketball team, and successful seasons by our baseball and softball teams. We also added women's volleyball as a new sport beginning this fall. Several campus improvement projects, including the opening of the Paul H. Borhill Center for Advanced Technologies, the Electrical Mine Worker Training Center, and new classrooms for our welding and biopharmaceutical technology programs. And many more achievements thanks to the hard work of our students, faculty, staff, and community. Will all faculty and staff please stand and please join me in thanking them. any special guests that may be with us today, my fellow Board of Trustees, the Foundation Board, Public School Representatives, and County Commissioners from Caldwell or Watauga. Welcome. Let's show our appreciation for their support of the college and the community. And now, the reason we're all here Regardless of the path that brought you to this stage, you have completed a tremendous task and we're proud of you. I'd like to share some facts about this year's class before they walk across the stage. Out of the 1,016 students we're honoring today, 461 of them are first generation college graduates. Our youngest graduate is 15, and our most senior is 65. The average age of this year's graduating class is 25. A total of 149 graduates have earned multiple credentials. The class of 2022 also includes 14 Dream Scholars, 24 TRIO SSS graduates, and 24 CCC and TI student athletes. And I'm proud to say we're also honoring 58 individuals who are earning their high school credentials. Again, congratulations to each of you. And thanks to all of you who have joined us today as we pay tribute to the graduating class of 2022. And now I'd like to present the Award of Merit. Each year at the May graduation ceremonies, the Board of Trustees is proud to present the Trustees Student Award of Merit. Deserving students are nominated by faculty and selected by board members for this prestigious honor. Not only are they given a plaque commemorating the special award, but they also receive a monetary award of $150. The award was presented earlier today to Melanie Reeves, who is graduating with an Associate in Applied Science and Medical Office Administration. She earned a 3.842 grade point average and is well known on the Caldwell campus. She is a member of the TRIO Leadership League, is president of the CCC and TI Ambassadors, helps with Student Government Association activities, tutors her fellow TRIO students, serves as an usher at Civic Center events, and assists on campus with grab-and-go activities, blood drives, and student appreciation days. As one instructor said in their nomination, Melody is the heart and soul of all we do here at CCC and TI. She is an incredible example for our adult learners. 
It was an honor to present the Trustee Student Award of Merit to Miss Melody Reeves at the first ceremony. Good afternoon. There you go. I told somebody earlier, normally our health sciences group is normally the right one. So, uh, look forward to celebrating with all of you. Students, we have a special treat for you this afternoon. We are thrilled to welcome back one of our own as your commencement speaker. Emily Thomas grew up in Lenoir and started her college journey as a student at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. After graduating with an Associate in Arts degree from CCCMTI in 2006, Emily went on to receive a bachelor's degree in organizational and public communication from Appalachian State University and a master's degree in communication from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Emily has over 10 years of higher education experience, which started, I might add, as a transition advisor at CCCMTI. Much of her career has been spent in enrollment, advising, and teaching within the communication discipline at two-year and four-year public and private institutions. Emily also worked as an enrollment strategist, helping colleges and universities meet their institutions' enrollment goals. She is currently a policy analyst for Education NC. She travels across the state for Ed NC, engaging with education leaders and students at post-secondary institutions. Her work includes research and reporting on the major trends, issues, and challenges bearing on higher education. In short, she helps tell the community college story across North Carolina. Emily, thank you for carrying the torch and for telling our story. And in addition to her role with Ed NC, she also teaches public speaking at CCCMTI. Please join me in welcoming back Miss Emily Thomas. Good afternoon. I am delighted to be with you all today. It is a true honor to speak at the graduation ceremony for the institution that changed the trajectory of my life and to be in the county that will forever be home in my heart. But before I begin, I wanna take a moment to say congratulations to you, graduates. We are here today to celebrate your amazing accomplishments. And I do not say amazing lightly, Across the state, less than half of North Carolinians from 25 to 44 complete any higher education. So why am I telling you this? Because what you have accomplished is a big deal. I want you to remember that and I want you to be proud of yourself. Now I'm sure you gathered from my initial comments that I am, as Dr. Fort always likes to remind me, a Caldwell County girl, born and raised. I am the product of parents and grandparents who worked hard and spent much of their time earning a living in the furniture factories in this region. Their hard work and dedication helped me become who I am today. Now, when I said that Caldwell County will forever be home in my heart, I meant that. You know, there's something about small towns and rural regions that creates in its people a sense of pride. While they may not have all the amenities of a large urban area, rural regions are made up of residents with deep roots, strong ties, and people who care deeply about the place they call home. And you know what? The people are resilient. When the main industry in this area started to decline about 20 years ago, most of the people here stayed. Some went back to school, some looked for different options, but you know that may very well be one of the strongest assets of rural areas, a well-rooted and committed community. In fact, Huddle Community College is one of 40 of the state's 58 community colleges that serve at least one rural county. 
And while the area Caldwell serves is small in comparison to larger institutions, the impact the college has is just as great. A recent study looked at each of the 58 community colleges in North Carolina to measure the economic impact. What they found is that the entire system has a 19 billion annual economic impact across the state. From 2019 to 2020, Caldwell Community College added almost 169 million in income to the region. That supported close to 3,000 jobs. And CCC and TI graduates, you will go on to earn higher wages, increasing your lifetime earning potential. I'll say it again, this institution changes lives. And I know that because it changed mine. So 16 years ago, I was sitting where you are, in those very seats, well, they just one of them. In May 2006, I put on a black robe and definitely shoes I had never worn before. And I tried to get that cap to stay on my head. But I almost wasn't in one of those seats. You see, growing up, I didn't know anyone in my family who had graduated from college. Because for most of them, life kind of happened. And furthering their education seemed out of reach. When I graduated from high school, I really felt lost. My gut told me college was a good next step, but I didn't know the first thing about applying for college or filling out financial aid. And because I had a bit of a non-traditional high school experience, there was no counselor to offer advice. And even though I had taken a couple of classes at the college as a newly enrolled student, going to college full-time seemed much scarier. So with a lot of fear and hesitation, I applied to be a full-time college student. But I hadn't even submitted my application and was already doubting my decision. I also had to fight the notion that because I was choosing to attend a community college, that my educational journey was not as significant as that of my peers who were attending a four-year college. Before I could actually start classes, though, I had to take a placement test. And I absolutely panicked. I knew I'd probably be okay with the English and reading part, but the math part was a very different story. And what happened was I sat frozen in front of a computer screen and I didn't know any of the math answers. And the results confirmed that. I'd have to take several additional math classes before I could take the one for my degree. And that's when I almost put something that I hadn't even started. I told myself I wasn't good enough for college, that my math skills were lacking, that my educational journey was not going to look anything like my peers, so why even bother? But for reasons that I will never understand, I did show up that first day of class. And that was hurdle one, showing up. But hurdle two was finishing my degree. Every semester for the first year, I found myself filling out a withdrawal form. I was ready to walk away from college. But you know what? Something would always happen. And it was almost always an instructor who, at the right moment, gave me the nudge I needed to continue. I don't think those instructors ever knew that I was close to quitting. But because they were invested in me as a person, and they really knew me, it made all the difference. After two years, I completed my associate degree. And in May 2006, I was in this very building, sitting in one of those seats, but it wasn't until I sat down that I truly realized what I had accomplished. And for the first time, I was proud of myself. Graduates, I want you to take a moment and reflect on your accomplishments. Congratulate yourself because you're the first in your family to earn a credential. Maybe you can congratulate yourself because you overcame adversities that at one point you thought made going to college impossible. Congratulate yourself because you are completing an education that maybe you started years ago. Or if you're like me, maybe you almost were in the very seat you are sitting in now. But guess what? You made it. Regardless of the reason for telling yourself congratulations, you should be proud. You showed up, you put in the effort, and now you have a credential. 
Now, before I go back here and take the seat, um, I want to leave you with three pieces of advice. And it's advice that I hope that you will take with you as you embark on your next journey, whatever it is. Because I think that's important to remember. It's okay wherever you go next. Number one, speak up. Throughout life, you will find yourself in situations with people who have had different experiences. There may be times when you feel as if your background and your experiences are not good enough, or that you don't measure up because your life's path looks different than those around you. But you know what I've come to realize? That there is value in every single journey that everyone takes. It doesn't matter the road that you took to get here. Your experiences, your story, and your voice matter. Speak up. Number two, start and end your day with gratitude. Earlier this year, um, a North Carolina community college president passed away from cancer. I had the privilege of writing an article about his life and legacy. While researching, researching about him, I found several articles that he had published during his time as president. In one of them, he referenced Joni Mitchell's song, Big Yellow Taxi. I'm not going to sing that for you, but I will actually say the lyrics. So the lyrics that he used in the article said, Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? The president said those lyrics were a reminder that we really don't understand the value of what we have until we don't have it anymore. He died soon after that piece was published. Author Anne Lamont said that gratitude is the key to joy. Gratitude or thankfulness is the realization of how much goodness is marbled into our strange and sometimes hard and annoying life. But you know what the great thing is about this habit of gratitude? It's that you can start at any time, even now. I want you to make note of people in this room, graduates, who have helped you and supported you during your educational journey. Your family, friends, the faculty, the staff. And if you're so inclined, you should tell them thank you. Because I know I plan to do that today. So the last thing, number three, is to offer help. A lot of times we get very focused on our next steps that we forget to look around, figuratively that is. And when you don't look, you miss things. You miss things like the beauty of the Blue Ridge Mountains or the North Carolina coastline. But you know what you also miss? You miss the people when you don't look. And when you miss the people, you don't see the opportunities to help. And after all, that is what life is mostly about, helping those around us. So graduates, who are around you right now that you can encourage to take the next step in your educational, in their educational journey? Who can you help navigate this process or even offer advice when they just need someone to say, you've got it, you can do it. Now, I know this speech is for those graduating today, but I do have something to, the, to say to those in this room or online if you're watching with us. If you thought about furthering or completing your education, this is what I want to say. Don't let fear hold you back. You belong here too, in a seat for graduates. If you haven't finished your high school diploma, or you need to learn a new skill, or you want another degree, you can do all of that at this very institution. You know, the great thing about North Carolina Community Colleges is that they <laughs> were designed for students to enter college regardless of the educational background that a student has. The colleges here meet people where they are and provide them with an education that will transform their lives and the lives of their family. Just as today's graduates have been transformed. I'll close with this. Graduates, I want you to remember, and I really say this, I want you to remember this. What you have accomplished is a big deal. Be proud. I want you to remember to speak up because your voice and your story and your experiences matter. And remember to live with gratitude, even when life is hard, even when life is hard and annoying. And don't forget to look around. 
Find the people who you can help. Congratulations, graduates. I am so glad that you let me share your day with you. It really is an honor. I'm also glad that you're sitting in those seats. Thank you. for graduation, please rise and step forward to be recognized. Candidates for graduation, Associate in Applied Science, Cardiovascular Sonography, Maria Alonso, Cardiovascular Sonography, Here Award with Honors. <laughs> Carla E. Corrier. Vanessa 
Ambassador Cosmella with honors. Lauren Elizabeth Pinnell with honors. Associate in General Education with honors. Taylor Ann Bean Probst. Sydney Nakia Reed, Associate in General Education. Dania Don Samaru, with honors.
gives you candidates for graduation, Associate of Applied Science, Associate Nursing Degree. Scholar Olivia Argentino, Associate <laughs> Degree Nursing Year Award with Taga Campus, Associate in General Education. Selena Baez. <laughs> Anastasia K. Dillard. <laughs> Macy Ryana Hefner, Associate in General Education. Michelle Bullock Hagerman, Associate Degree Nursing Faculty Award. <laughs> Carla Daniela Fernandez Barnes. <laughs> Brianna Danielle Desire. Zoe Lang Cobb, with honors. <laughs> Hannah Blocklear. <laughs> Haley Madison Martin. Olivia Doris Maddox. <laughs> Shelby Mayer. Aaron Liv McCall with honors. Brianna Elizabeth Morris. <laughs> Stephanie Garcia. <laughs> Dana Wilcox Pictus Meyer. Jasmine Lachey Powell. <laughs> Haley Nicole Reese. <laughs> Karen Delane Walker. Amber Michaels Woody. <laughs> Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Diploma Ophthalmic Medical Personnel. Alexis Elizabeth Fox, Dream Star, with honors. Nicole Higginbottom, Founding Medical Personnel, Peer <laughs> Abigail Rose McDonald, <laughs> Madison Avery Spencer. Kaylee Elaine Tarasco, founding medical personnel, 
faculty award with honors, associate in general education with honors. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, associate in applied science, physical therapy assistant, Abigail Mary Elaine Duncan, with honors. Mallory Grace Eller. Yeah! Madison Kiana Hankerman.
Asia Denise Linda Kadir with honors. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Moore with honors. <laughs> Takia Sharice Palmer with honors. Congratulations. Shauna Renee Festel with honors. Garcia with honors. <laughs> Gina Lynette Bedford with honors. <laughs> Kelsey Brooke Jackson, diploma with honors. Lincoln Cornell, Speech Language Pathology Assistant Faculty Award Diploma with Honors. <laughs> Brooklyn Amber Barnes, Associate in Arts with Honors, Associate in Science with Honors. <laughs> Associate in Arts, Associate in General Education. <laughs> Shelby Leanne Brawley, Associate in Arts. <laughs> George Gael Iseda Lopez, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Nicole Dixon Reed, Associate of Arts with Honors, Associate in General Education with Honors. <laughs> Preston Andrew Shouse, Associate in Arts with Honors. <laughs> Amber Danielle Stedman, Associate in Arts. Paige Thomas, Associate in Arts with Honors. Caitlin Marie Thompson, Associate in Arts. Dr. Porch, I present to you candidates for graduation, Associate in Fine Arts and Visual Arts, Jaden Kayla Daly. Brandon Alexander Farrington, Associate in Science. <laughs> Victoria Fay Mayo, Associate in Science with Honors. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Young, Associate in General Education. Emma K. 
Thunderman High School of Political Literacy Diploma, Caldwell County. <laughs>
having fun up here. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It is a great, great day, and it feels so good to be here in this place, in the Civic Center, in person, to celebrate. Yeah. This is the first time in three years. So congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> Graduates, it is indeed my honor and privilege to share in this special moment with you. <clears throat> I want to say thank you, first of all, for allowing us to serve you at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute, it has been our pleasure to be your college of choice. And I want to congratulate each of you for your commitment and your dedication and most of all your success. You have so much to be proud of. And I also want to congratulate the families and the friends of our graduates. They share in your achievement. And like, likewise, I congratulate the faculty and the staff who imparted knowledge and provided support along your educational journey. Today is a proud day for them as well. And I know that these students share my appreciation for all, all of you who have supported and encouraged them along the way. Students, will you join me in thanking those in the audience who helped make this day possible? Today is your day. Today marks the completion of your educational journey at CCC and TI and the moment when you are moving on to the next phase of your lives. In our first ceremony, we had people tell me they were coming back in the fall. So if you're coming back, we want you back. We'd love to have you. But for most of you, as you leave CCC and TI, my job is to issue a charge to you as graduates. And as I thought about what to say to you, the one thing that kept popping in my mind is that you are here on this stage in spite of a global pandemic. A global pandemic that changed everything about our world, including education, for over two years now. And that truly is a remarkable accomplishment. Education has certainly not been immune from the impacts of COVID. In fact, COVID turned education on its head and presented unprecedented challenges for all of us. And there was no playbook. We were literally building the plane as we were flying. And as these students are all too aware, we had to move many of our courses and services to online formats during the pandemic, resulting in many challenges, including some students having to take classes in a format they were, not, they were unaware of at the time of registration. You not only dealt with changes in how you participated in classes, you dealt with numerous safety protocols, including health screening stations, temperature checks, wearing masks, social distancing, and in some cases, quarantine. And through all of these changes and all of the challenges, you remained flexible and you adapted. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we all dealt with the challenges of COVID. You have overcome all of the hardships and difficulties and you are finally on the graduation stage. Your courage, resiliency, work ethic, and perseverance have, you led, have led you to this moment in time. You have done an amazing job in the face of adversity. You have made it through what has arguably been the hardest two years any of us have ever faced. Students, if you can persevere through the pandemic and perform at this high level, you can succeed in whatever lies ahead. So as you move on, go with confidence and let this situation and your success set the stage for life's next step. As you depart CCC and TI, my hope is that you leave with a great sense of pride in this amazing institution, an institution that has a strong 58-year history 
of excellence in providing quality educational programs focused on student success. And as alumni, you will forever be part of the Cobra family. So as you leave this place, go with the same sense of fearlessness, inspiration, and boldness that got you through the pandemic and to this graduation stage. And as Martin Luther King Jr. stated, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. By making it to this stage today, we all know where you stand. Now go make us proud. Best of luck to all of you. Congratulations. time you've all been waiting for. Will all of the candidates for graduation please rise? The faculty and staff of Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute have certified that the candidates for graduation assembled here have faithfully fulfilled the requirements of their respective educational programs as specified by the State Board of Community Colleges. So therefore, by the authority vested in me by the State of North Carolina and the college's Board of Trustees, I hereby convey to you all the rights, privileges, and honors associated with being graduates of Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. Students, will you turn your tassels? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a standing salute. Thank you. 